Okay, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Um, I've made a couple of uh, modifications, just two actually. You see the reference icon right there, or the reference uh, component, I've changed that to a label because I don't want to be able to, or the user to be able to enter data into it. So that will be generated by clicking on the wages. And uh, the same thing is done here because uh, this national insurance number and these are supposed to be the same however it's supposed to show the the cumulated tax pay, uh, or the cumulated national insurance number paid I think um, we don't have to work that out as we go along which means if you select two whatever is in here is multiplied by two all right so the next thing I want to do now is uh, since this is uh, the 12 months so this should be multiplied by 2 by 12 really okay so the next thing I'm going to do is just to declare a couple of variables which I've already done and I just before that I've imported as follows um, mass dot uh, big decimal then here these are the variables that I intend to use Okay, I have all the global variable. Alright, that's for the inner city, basic wage, overtime, gross pay. I think maybe I'm, I'm going to have to declare some other ones anyway as a local variable. So I will start by double clicking on the wage right here. So let's double click on the wages there. And right here enter as follows okay if you notice I've declared some local variable those are the local variable declare okay. and I've also assigned the following the inner city wage is assigned to the global variable inner city wage the same thing whatever data is inside the basic salary component is assigned here and the same thing is repeated for overtime gross pay I've added everything in here into gross pay and then assign straight into gross pay there and this is just to give you the decimal places okay the very first part of the calculations goes as follows for the rest of the component let's bring it up I've actually used try cash in case if there's any error. That's the very first part of it. The A000, if that is selected, this is what I want the system to, to be. So if I show you guys, maybe if you can still remember the A00, let's come in here. That is it right here. Sorry. That's right here. That is uh, the data that I'm referring to for my calculation depends if you select a zero zero that means you are allowed a thousand pounds a year before tax a three zero or a three thousand you are allowed three thousand per year before tax four thousand before tax five thousand before tax and so on so let's come in here okay and that is it before tax that's what you are allowed and then the student loan is worked out okay the pension plus whatever is in there okay so I'm just going to take it down so that you guys see the codes it's a very long lines of code if you want you can always uh, send me an email and I'll forward it to you guys And that is for the very first part. So, and right here, that shows the period actually, the period of a uh, national insurance number that you've paid. Okay, let's take it down. Suppose you can see the code that that's just for the very first A00. Okay, now for the second part of it, A3000, that's it right there. It's just exactly the same lines of code. The only difference is the 3000 bit that you are allowed. For 
the very, very first taxi, second or whatever taxi year you are. Okay, depends on your on your tax code. If you allow three thousand, then that's what you get. Okay, now the next one is if you allow four thousand per year, it's divided by twelve and so on. It's the same lines of code like I said earlier on. Now five thousand. It is it. Now you guys can see it. Okay, for six thousand. There we go. For seven thousand per year, the four taps, and that is it. Okay, that's for seven thousand. Okay, we now have for eight thousand per year. That's for eight thousand per year. So bring it down. Alright, we have for 9,000 per year, which is the, and that's the last one really. You can see it's divided by 12 as well, just like the other ones. It's a very long line of code, it's good. So if you need these lines of code, you can always send me an email and I'll, I'll forward it to you. And right here, that is where the system will let you know if there's one or two things missing. And that's why I use dry cash there. That's it right here. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys is uh, the update. Right here. Double click on the update. And here we have the update. So if there's nothing there, you get this message. All right. There's the update right there. That's the. That's for the table itself. So if the table is that's what the table row equals minus one. Okay, just to update it. Alright. But if uh, there's any problem, the table is now populated. This is what you get if the table is zero. If there's nothing inside the table, you get this message. Our table is not populated. And if you didn't select anything, you will get this message saying select a row. Take it down, and these are the same lines of code. So each of these you can see start from zero, representing each column right here. That would be zero, one, two, three, up to eighteen. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, and up to eighteen. If you remember at the beginning of the program, I actually left out three of the components because they are the same, so I just left them out. That's why I only have uh, 19 in there in total. Okay, that's for updates, and that I think that is no, that's not all. There's one more. This is for the table for you when you click on the table right here. I've actually used a click event right there here okay these are the ones that are left out which is not required in here so I can even delete it you don't need those ones delete them if you need the codes send me an email make sure you subscribe and now we forward it to you so that is it a long line of codes I guess you will enjoy it when you put something like this together but most of it is all repetition like I said earlier on so what I will do now is uh, let's run the program and see how it looks like compile because of the savings and uh, the deleting that I've made compile and run So the first name, let's say I enter Paul, Paul Owen, and in here the address, let's say, um, 
90 London London town okay county N N E 9 or oh, counties so county let's just call that London sorry and um, that'll be N N E 9 as for the postcode you wouldn't be able to enter any reference in there and the employer's name let's say he was for God God's son right and right here the name you see that's one of the repetition I'm talking about that's uh, that's why I did not bother enter that on the table right here okay in our London wages or I call it in a city wages within okay and here basic salary yeah I'm well paid why not okay all right I made that up okay the overtime yeah I love overtime so that I can get my money all right so the next thing I need to do in here is uh, the period you just select the period of pay and that's December okay let's go for G the big one and uh, since G is the tax code and the insurance code is G as well that means you don't have to pay a lot of national insurance number so just click on this wages now there so everything else is generated for you by the wage system there now all you just need to do now is to add that to the table there that's Paul's information you can always zoom to see what's going on with Paul Omen information there he lives in uh, 90 London town and so on all of the necessary information you need is right here so supposing we just populate the table and we want to make a couple of changes right there this guy is not Paul let's change his name to maybe or our name Sally 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 gone or gonna whatever and uh, Sally lives in number 12 Frogner Frogner Road okay that's where Sally lives London W whatever NW7 or W let's put W there 99 or whatever and uh, who does she work for Sally works for let's say she works for KF KF D jobs okay name Sally and Ghana so let's come in here and change it I think Sally Ghana is a single mom so let's give her D and uh, maybe okay that's the month is 12 and the ni code is d12 d600 as well and that's all okay that's the update right there so let, let let's just click on another one let's say we we'll double click on this other one oh yeah why not and just change the name here to let's make sure it's selected change the details there to Peter Pan and Peter Pan leaves in 50 whatever Pan Pan Street London SW8 works for works for trading okay and enter Peter Pan there well paid too so that's what he gets and the wages is about that per month over time he doesn't need it so let's say 10 and that is it so let's come in here and change that because uh, Peter Pan is a bachelor is a young man he has no problems okay let's click on add and now we need to update you see that that's how the update works I'm gonna carry out a little bit more of those let's 
so you want to update the next guy underneath here let's change that to maybe grace town with grace townsend okay 34 heal please is become W alright so she works let's assume she works for the same firm as Peter Pan so I just change that to Grace Townsend and of uh, the same tax code let's change that to C and this one to C as well. So that's for Grace. So all you just need to do is click on update. You can see that it's updated to Grace. So I'm just going to carry out some more update and you guys see what I'm talking about. Okay, now I've populated the the table and um, what we do have some issue right here. We can see duplication. So and that's where the uh, delete comes comes in handy so we've deleted that supposing we click on it again you see that it's saying select a row to be deleted so we still have a duplicate here so let's get rid of that delete and that is how the system works just like I said earlier on if you guys uh, do need the codes you can always send me an email just drop me a line make sure you are a subscriber though and i will definitely forward the codes to you so i'll say you all have a nice day now suppose you enjoyed the tutorial bye for now